Should people get 4K movies early? Early, I mean. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on and off about it because if you go to the store, like Best Buy right now, and they have a movie out by accident, it happened to me in Cape Cod once. I wanted to buy the SWAT season, whatever, and they wouldn't let me buy it because they couldn't ring it up in the computer. Um, I think you should. I, I think it's okay. Well, what's the big deal? Nowadays, people, when they pre-order stuff, a lot of the times their movies come two or three days, if not more, than the um, release date before. Usually if it's something really big, though, it comes right on release day. But I just got Smoking in the Bandit in 4K, and it's coming out, I think it's the, it's coming out this Tuesday. So this Tuesday would be the, um, the first, the first of July, I mean June. And, um, I thought that was, um, kind of odd that it got on a Saturday. The Best Buy app kept telling me Tuesday. But of course, the Best Buy app is very inaccurate. If you ever check that, make sure to check the tracking number itself because that's what's going to tell you when your package comes on time. Very, very easy to figure that out. And that was that. Um, we see, everything's different. With movies, it's different. But with other products, it's a different story. Like if you ordered a new GoPro and it's coming out next month from a pre-order, they, they're never going to give that to you real, real early or anything. Um, I think, you know, if the stores get these movies early, why can't they throw them on the floor for sale? I mean, if people are allowed to get them at their house early, what's the difference? They're going to say, well, no one can control them exactly when the post office delivers an order. That's true. But I feel like if, if you get a batch of movies that are that go into Best Buy two or three days early from the vendor or wherever it comes from, you should be able to put that out for sale, and that should be that. I mean, it's very simple. Um, I can't tell you how aggravated I um, I get sometimes when you walk into a store. It's only happened to me once, but hey. I told you that story, but when I was at the Best Buy in Warwick, I was looking for Star Trek Enterprise. I forgot what, I forgot what season it was. It wasn't the first season. I think it was the second or the third or the fourth or whatever it was. And I went into their store and they say, oh, it's not here. We can buy it online for you. And then what happened? I found like three or four of them on a shelf. It wasn't right in front of me, but it was on a shelf. I was kind of pissed. So I think that if you're going to get early pre-orders, it should be for more non-important things. Some things that are more important, maybe you should wait till release date. I don't know. I've never bought in a video game off of Best Buy, so I can tell you that one. Never, I don't think, no, I've never bought a video game from Best Buy, I don't think. At least not one online. So I don't know if they'll send you those early or not. I know some games, they won't allow you to go online until they actually come out, which is kind of bullshit because you have the game and you can't do anything with it. Everyone knows everyone wants to play online multiplayer now. Some people with Call of Duty don't even play the um the campaign anymore because they could care less. Um, that's it for me. So um, I let's just say it's a mix with me. It all depends what I buy. It might show up early, it might not. But if you want to get something early, the only way to do that is through the online mail. You can't do it by going to the store because they'll ring it up. Even if it comes out early, they throw it on the floor. They won't let you have it. All right. Bye-bye.